Oh, you're about old enough, aren't you, Cole? Did you call those matches back then? Yeah. And up in that ancient history, Corey, let's talk about these superstars in the ring here and now. What do they have to do to win here? It's best to play to your strengths. If you're agile enough to climb the cage and escape out of the top, do it. If you can incapacitate your opponent and slip out the cage door, do it. It's all about survival. Anytime you put the fencing around the ring, it brings out the animal in every superstar. The quick reversal there by Randy Orton. Not again. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand. Byron, how can a superstar take advantage of an opportunity when locked in the cage? It is important to stay on your feet, even if it's of escape. The more a competitor moves, the harder it is for them to be defeated. The cage is your ally, or you're eating steel. There's no in-between. He's in control. Roman Reigns just too fast for him. What's this? Down. And Jenoku driver. Goes from a deadlift position. Set out power bomb. Looks like Randy Orton has broken a sweat. He needs to adapt if he wants to steal the win in that steel cage. There's no doubt Roman Reigns has a long career in front of him. But guys, if he chose to hang him up today, I'd say he's a surefire Hall of Famer. Oh, again! That will get your attention. Oh, stop in the leg! Just nasty. gonna hurt tear your hamstring focusing more on Michael's Hall of Fame argument I definitely agree that Reigns belongs just look at everything he's already done from WrestleMania made events to WWE Championship Reigns and everything in between it seems like a silly argument if you ask me but hey I'll play along I'll also agree Roman Reigns is a slam dunk Hall of Famer hey he can get in twice as a member of the Shield Merciless attacks from the Viper. And here comes Orton. Animals in there. Rude and captured the United States Championship for the very first time. Ooh. Randy Orton has found an answer here. Harsh impact. Boom. <laughs> quickly here. The steel cage has really gotten the better of him tonight. Michael mentioned Randy Orton's United States title win, and true to Orton form, it came out of nowhere. After a quickly intensifying rivalry, the Viper beat the glorious one at Fastlane for the one title he had yet to claim. And in the process, Orton became only the 10th person in WWE history to become a Grand Slam champion. Another apex for the Apex Predator. Power from the suplex. I just love steel cage matches. Randy Orton has found an answer here. Here's a cover. cover. Wow. Pure brute strength on the part of Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. There. That's his go-to move. Can he finish this off? Does Orton even know where he is? The Apex Predator stays in the hunt with that kick out. And this has just been a hellacious match inside this Hell in a Cell. Here we go. He's made it to the top of the cage. This has become a monumental struggle for these competitors. It is down to who still has the energy, the resolve, to put the pedal to the metal. Oh, Roman Reigns is in a tough situation here, folks. 
Yeah, I don't even think he knows where he is. The big dog is losing his stride right about now. Oh, Roman Reigns unable to be contained. Orton looking on his game right now. Wow, what a sequence. Oh, oh my God, a clothesline. Oh. Nice job by Randy Orton there. Coming. Olympic slam. He caught him slipping. Uh, neck breaker. This match. A stop in the leg. Just nasty. Uh oh. Hung out to dry. this steel cage. Oh man, just gotta get that leg over now. He's looking down on the cape. Roman Reigns gathering attention in a hurry. Boom, what impact. Randy Orton, no problem in getting out of that one. Superstars are giving it their all, and this audience is giving it right back. Here is your winner, the Viper, Randy Orton! 
He looked very impressive in that win here tonight. Brandy Orton.